Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to get started using filter masks in On One Photo Raw 2021. Now I have this image of the bird. I did do some processing of it in the develop module, but the main processing I need to do involves the effects module. So I'm gonna go over to the effects module. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna sharpen the feathers of the bird. So I'm gonna to go to add filter and I'm going to add a dynamic contrast filter. And you can see that right out of the box, it sharpened the feathers of the bird. Now I'm just going to put it way up just so you can better see it. Now it's, I'm not gonna leave it this high, but you get an idea that those bird's feathers are really sharp now. But what dynamic contrast is also doing is it's sharpening, sharpening the noise in the background. It's making the noise more noticeable. Hopefully you could see that in the video. So what I really need to do is apply a mask, a filter mask. This filter mask will allow me to apply dynamic contrast to the bird, but not apply dynamic contrast to the background. Now to open up the mask tools, click this little icon right here and you'll see the mask tools are open. And by default, I have a white mask. Wherever the mask is white is allowing that filter to be applied at 100%. Wherever it's black, it's not allowing that filter to be applied in that area. Now you also could have shades of gray. If it's a lighter shade of gray, more of the effect will be applied. If it's a darker shade of gray, less of the effect will be applied. In this case, with this image, it's just going to be white and black. White on the bird, black on the background. Now to do that, we have this white. I need to paint it out or paint it away from the background. And if we go up to mode, these are the brush attributes at the top. You can see that there's paint out mode and paint in mode. I'm painting it out. Over here on the far right, see this little brush right here? What I need to be careful of to begin with, let's say I just start painting on the background. If I accidentally touch the bird's feathers, I'm painting away dynamic contrast on the feathers. So I wanna be careful I don't do that. What I could do is I could outline the bird first with this special brush, it's called a perfect brush. When you click on it, you'll get this little box telling you what it does. Basically, what will happen is wherever I click, on one is going to examine that area's tone, texture, and color, and it's going to try to only apply the brush stroke to similar tone, texture, and color. So I could outline the entire bird first with this brush, then, get a regular brush and just paint in outside of that outline I'm going to draw. Now to get a bigger brush, hit the right bracket key, smaller brush, left bracket key. You can see that there's some brush attributes, uh, size, feathering, opacity and flow. I'm gonna have opacity and flow at 100, angle at zero. I'm going to maybe put the feathering at 50. And then again, I want to just go around the outside of the bird. A little trick with the perfect brush, see that little equal sign that's in the middle of the brush? Keep that wherever I click, it's gonna look right there. Make sure, even let's say I click way down here in the left-hand corner and I start to paint, just don't let that equal sign go over the bird and then I'll be fine, even if I'm letting the other two circles go over the bird. So I'll just keep doing it. Now, I really can't see what's happening. Although I could see technically because my nose is you know, 18 inches away from my computer screen, I could see I'm actually painting away dynamic contrast right where I'm painting. But there is a little trick you could do to help you better see this, and I'm gonna show you in a moment. Just let me finish this. I'm gonna go very quickly and go around the perimeter of the bird's body. Now, one little trick or one little tr uh, thing you should know about the perfect uh, brush, as I mentioned, it, um, when you click with the left mouse button, it looks at the tone, texture, and color right at that spot. And then as you move the brush, it's going to try to only apply the brush stroke at similar tone, texture, and color. To get a more effective brush stroke, what you should do is click often because even with that background, the color is changing, the tone is changing um, a lot. So what I wanna do is make sure that I'm clicking often so that it's resampling and then it will give me a better outline. So I'm almost done. Come in here and down here 
And all right, so I painted the uh, entire perimeter of the bird. And even if you look at the mask over here on the right-hand side, you can see I have this line. Now, as I mentioned, I really couldn't see what I was doing. Well, there's some tools you could use that will help you see what you're doing. They're called mask overlays. To turn it on, go down here. There's a little icon. It's a little rectangle with a circle on it. Click on it, and you'll see that I could see exactly what I did. Isn't this kind of cool? So I could come in, and if there, I missed anywhere, like in here, I could come in and get it a little better. If I over-painted somewhere, I could go to paint in mode and then try to fix it. So you could always jump between those two modes. Now, this is one mask view. This is the one I prefer. You may prefer a different one. To go up to a different one, go to mask, go to view mode, and there's one called red overlay. This allows you to see the actual things that are in the uh, photo, in this case, the bird. And wherever I painted is red. And I could come in and just keep painting that way. A lot of people prefer that method. That, I mean, it works great. Another one is in view mode is red overlay while brushing. What it is, is it's not there until you actually are brushing. Then you'll see it. As soon as I let go of the left mouse button, it disappears. I don't like that mode. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to go back to the mode I like, which is grayscale. And I'm going to turn off the perfect brush. I don't need it anymore. I have the perimeter of the bird already painted. I'm going to get a larger brush just so I could go very quickly. Maybe not that large. And uh, paint the rest of this in. Now I'm going to be careful that I don't like touch the bird feathers at all but if I do accidentally I would go and fix it by using changing the mode of the brush from paint out to paint in but I'm not going to do that if I accidentally do it here because you guys don't want to see me painting for hours and hours and hours but you get the hopefully the method here you, you understand what we're doing so I'm kind of going to come in here and paint all this away so I'm basically removing dynamic contrast from the background. There, we're getting there. All right, for better or for worse, that's it. Okay, so I did it. Now I'm gonna turn off the mask, turn off the mask. I'm gonna click right on that little mask icon again. And there it is. Now we'll just go down here to the controls. I'm just gonna like max them out. See, it's just affecting the bird. It's not affecting the background. Now I'm gonna make it something more, more realistic. Something more that I think is more acceptable. Let's do a before after. There's before and there's after. All right, I sharpened up the bird quite a bit. Now, I want to add a, another filter to this. I want to add something to make it more colorful. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna go to the view mode here and then I'm gonna add filter and I'm going to add color enhancer. And with Color Enhancer, I'm really only going to do one thing. I'm going to uh, really push saturation up. It's really bringing out the color in the bird, but it's also bringing out the color in the background. I don't want the background to be a distraction. So I don't want to enhance the color of the background. I just want to enhance the color of the bird. Now I could do the same thing. I could click here, open up the mask tools. I could get the perfect brush, go around the perimeter of the bird, do the exact same thing. But I already did that. I have that mask already drawn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste it. I'll go back down to dynamic contrast where I have the mask and I'm going to copy it. Then I'll open up color enhancer again. And just so you could better see it, I'm going to like put saturation all the way up and vibrance all the way up. Then I'm going to paste the mask and watch it just removed it from the background. Now it's only on the bird. Saves a lot of time, right? So we'll reset this to to something more acceptable. All right, now let's take this one step further. I've enhanced the color of the bird. I've enhanced the sharpness of the feathers of the bird and the bird itself, actually. Maybe it's a little too sharp as I'm looking at it now, but let's just say it's good enough. I want to take some of the color away from the background. The background is still a little bit too colorful for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another color enhancer filter, right? And then I am going to, with this one, bring saturation down. And just for the sake of this argument at the beginning, I'll take it all the way down. You can see it's making the entire image black and white. Well, I could apply a mask, right? So I'm going to apply the mask. Now this mask, I need the opposite of the other mask. I need it to apply the color enhancer filter to the background and not the bird. Now, just 
a minute ago, I copied the mask that I had to the clipboard. I pasted it to the second one, but it's still on the clipboard. If I paste it to this one, it's going to be opposite of what I need. Let me do it. I'll paste it, and you could see that it added the color to the background, but it still took the color away from the bird. I need the inverse of this. So all I need to do is invert the mask. Click right here, and boom. It took the color away from the background, but we have the color on the bird. Now, I don't want the background really totally black and white. I just want it, I just want it color reduced, something like that. So that's pretty much everything you need to know on masks, but I'm just going to do one more little thing real quick. I'm going to add a tone enhancer. What I want to do is brighten up the bird's eyes. So if I just bring exposure up, you can see it's brightening everywhere. So I need to add a mask that only affects the eye of the bird. So I'm going to open up the mask tools. Now right now it's affecting everywhere. And I could paint all around and remove it from all around the eye. Or a faster way is just to invert the mask right now. Make it a black mask. Go up to mode and go to paint in mode. Then you, with my brush, get a smaller brush by hitting the left bracket key. And then simply paint around the bird's iris like this. And then what I'll do is, I, it's a little bit too bright, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Maybe add a little contrast as well, and maybe some clarity too. So it only affected the bird's eye. So those are filter masks in On One Photo Raw 2021. Hopefully that helps you better process your images. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.